So he comes out, and now I remember, this is so funny. So he pops out, and then some voice, like it's the video game, yells out, Reptile! <laughs> <laughs> the only people around are Luke King and Reptile, so I like, like... Oh, God. The cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> oh, it's World Combat. Oh, the haircut. Dude. That was awful. Dude, zoom in on the eyes. <laughs> Background. <laughs> the music, though. Oh. Uh. Go through the roster. I love it. This is my childhood, dude. Mm. Oh, you have no idea. These are Party City costumes, like. <laughs> R.I.P. Party City. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All you people, you don't realize how fucking lucky you are. Getting your modern day Mortal Kombat coming out on HBO Max. Oh my gosh, the opening five minutes of the new Mortal Kombat movie <laughs> is so much more impressive than combining any five minutes so of the original Mortal Kombat. One? Oh yeah, I saw yeah, the new I one. Saw oh, it. it's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, relatively, dude, yeah. like, compared to what this <laughs> was. Uh, sorry, I just completely blew past. Like, <laughs> so, we just watched mm. the classic 1995 trailer for yeah. the original Mortal Kombat movie. And this was something I grew up with, born in 91. So this came out when I was four or five years old, mm. owned the VHS. Pretty sure I watched it so many times that I broke the VHS tape. <laughs> this was just, just the amped up music. I'd just be in my basement just punching and kicking to the Mortal Kombat <laughs> theme. Dude, this is, I'm sure there's so many people watching that totally agree with exactly what I'm saying. Now, you guys have that for your generation. Mm -hmm. How do you think it kind of uh, held up and compared, at least from a trailer perspective? You didn't see the whole movie, but. No, no. No, no, no. I don't see any reason, besides if you want to see Shang Tsung do this yeah. iconic line, there's no real reason to watch this over the new one ah uh, yeah i guess maybe if you're a purist because it is like it does <laughs> so i will say this when this came out yeah. this was the pinnacle and it was for a long time the pinnacle of video game movies mm. which is not saying much because video game movies especially back in the 90s yeah. like that's when like the really bad super mario brothers movie came out like there were no good video game movies so this was like, the mm. first one that is actually half decent and i will say the actual hand-to-hand -hand combat in it can actually yeah. be pretty good it's when all the CGI crap comes into it, you know what I mean? When yeah, because I mean, all the practical effects, they didn't look no, bad. No, they but, don't. But you know, when that CGI lizard came in, that's when yes, it started. Yes, exactly. And, and, that, and that starts getting into what the issue was with the sequel that came out in 1997, which, which to, you know, shows you it was the first movie successful enough to get a sequel. And the sequel, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, was just, they put way too much CGI into it. God. They leaned into the CGI as if that's the reason the first one worked. <laughs> no. No, that was the reason the first one didn't work. Exactly. Don't get me wrong, all the backgrounds and everything in this were bad, but mm. I almost feel like the 97 movie was worse. And I mm. feel like, it, visually, I mean, yeah. I mean, without a doubt, every other way. But mm. even visually, it's crazy to think of moving about two years later and look worse. But yeah. I think that sequel was horrific. <laughs> so I'm so happy that it came back. It seems like, I believe there's gonna 
going to be sequels to mm. the this new Mortal Kombat yes. that came out. Relatively new now. I hope so, because I thought there's room to improve, but yes. I thought, yes. like, you know, oh, like, I thought Sub-Zero was sick. Yeah. I thought oh, there were yeah. a ton of really cool fight scenes, and, like, even the beginning, I forget where the exact location was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, but the Japanese, The Scorpion like, Clan versus yeah, yeah. Sub-Zero's Clan. I thought all that was sick. And yeah, I just, oh, it was dope. And the second movie, like, yeah. I don't know. I just think it would go off really well. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I like, you know, it is kind of weird how they introduce the powers. It's different than how it originates yeah. in the games and stuff like that. But I understand. Yeah, it takes some creative licenses when you're converting to, you know, a movie. But I think it could have been done a little bit better. Mm. Uh, just not like you got to take so much pain and then your power unlocks. I feel like there could be something a little bit more complex to it than that. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, we're uh, talking about the wrong movie. Yeah, anyway, I was talking about the wrong movie. But yeah, so I guess I kind of have to ask you the question, even though yeah. it's kind of stupid. Uh, do you want to try and guess the plot for Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Again, like, you know, every 90s trailer, they kind of spelled it out. Yeah. Because I have right. played the games. Yeah. Many of the newer ones, not the older ones, right. but Shang Tsung is the bad guy. Right, right. And, uh... Isn't it crazy how different he is in this movie as opposed to, like, in the video games? In the video games, he's <laughs> giant buff has a skull on his head, and here he's just this little dude, he got a skull in his mane. <laughs> Yes, that is my. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just classic Mortal Kombat story. Yeah. Nothing out of the ordinary. And, but honestly, I'm just beating you to the question. I'm not going to see it. I'm not You're not going to go back and watch the original no. one? Ugh. Maybe if. You know, maybe the second one if I want to laugh. Yeah. Not this one. I would like to send you the fight versus reptile from this movie. It's pretty dope. All right. The fight versus reptile is actually pretty cool. There's a little bit of CGI because reptile originally. Yeah. That's actually what you saw. That was like the CGI mm, thing. But he actually jumps into a dead stone soldier statue? I don't really know how to describe <laughs> it. And brings it to life and he becomes a reptile. Yeah, I mean, they probably had to avoid the CGI for that. Right, right exactly. So. But what was wild too is like, so he comes out and I don't know, this is so funny. So he pops out and then some voice, like it's the video game, yells out, reptile. <laughs> <laughs> The only people around are Luke King and Reptile, so I like, but... <laughs> like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I always thought it was funny. <laughs> okay, so you're not going to see this movie, yeah. but you would agree. It's a funny trailer. You yeah. can see... I don't know, man. Maybe you're going to get to college, you'll get drunk one night and watch this. I could totally Maybe. see that happening. You guys just laugh and laugh. I can't believe people used to watch this. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this video. Like and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about the movie in the comments below. Let us know if there's any movies you want us to watch. Who knows, maybe we'll watch them together.